Wow, I just walked through a giant spider web. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to let these chickens out, y'all. All right, ladies. Go on out, do your thing. Eat them bugs. Don't get in my plants. Get in, getting in my plants. Getting in, getting in mama's plants. You're gonna get in trouble now, come on. Come on now, Margaret. You know better than that. Go run around and eat some bugs. Here they go. I figured it is high time, y'all, that we just do a home vlog because we have a new addition in the family. First things first, I just need to thank you guys for all your prayers and support. Baby Ben, he is a healthy, beautiful little baby boy, and he's, uh, he's back, actually past his birth weight now and uh, mom is doing good as well. So she is back to where she can start driving again. She, can, uh, she can't really lift uh, anything. Um, it's been kind of difficult. Emmy's always like wanting her to hold, hold her. So I've been at the house helping uh, with the dual children situation. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through what it's like in, uh, in my life right now. So first week home with a new baby all is always rough and my schedule has been I was getting up at 3 a.m. I would go to bed at 9 and get up at 3 and take care of Ben from like 3 to 7 a.m. and then switch off a lot of dirty diapers but honestly all he doesn't even cry that much it's it's pretty crazy how right off the bat we could tell that he, his behavior is definitely different than Emmy's. Emmy came out of the gate swinging. She's never stopped moving to this day. I've been calling Ben Sluggo and her Turbo because they're just completely opposites the way they were when they were babies. But it's actually a lot more work taking care of Emmy and watching Emmy around Ben than it is taking care of Ben because after you feed him, he pretty much just goes to sleep and there's really not a whole lot to it. He doesn't cry a whole lot. He's just a good baby. So after I get done taking care of Ben in the morning, Steph's up and she's taking care of Emmy and Ben, then I move on to chicken care. So I go out, I let the chickens outside and I let them forage around in the yard for about 30 minutes to an hour. Usually about midday, Emmy comes outside, she starts running around if she's not at school or dance class or something like that. Which is another thing that I've been doing since I've been at home for these last week as I've taken Amy to school something I've never even done before it's always been Stephanie while I'm while I'm out so you know just being being a stay-at-home dad this uh this last 10 days it's a new experience hey Amy OSG cooking up something in the kitchen cooking up something delish you can always find me in here I I love, this is gonna sound sexist, but I, I, I love seeing you here in the kitchen. Just gets me excited in the morning. Well, you know what? I love to make you happy, so if this makes you happy. Food makes me happy. I'm a very easy man to please. Speaking of food, uh, leftovers, you know, yesterday, last night, this is, this is what we do. We put them in our chicken bucket basket thing, as we call it, and we take them outside to the chickens. That's our egg collection basket. I start my morning with a heavy dose of uh, espresso tar to get things going. And this is where we collect the eggs. Oh, and someone sent us flowers yesterday. Who did you say this is from? Huh? Um, pastors at Gateway Church. From Gateway Church. Got some, we got some followers at the Gateway Church. Thank you guys very, very much for sending them. Those are pretty. Those are very fall festive. I know. I've never seen flowers like that. And those are like straight from the fields. Look it at that. It inspired me to put up my fall wreath. I mean, it looks like a pheasant or a quail should be flying out of that thing. I got Stephanie some Harry Potter socks and uh, a pumpkin spice candle. Are you wearing the Harry Potter socks I right am. now? <laughs> did you plan that? Did no, you I that? did not. This. 
That was my post-pregnancy gift. We're on a budget here. Socks and a candle, but you told me that you wanted to watch Harry Potter this week. You need to go potty. Okay. And there goes the tornado. We're on the potty mission. And that's typically how it goes, y'all. That's how the eggs, that's how the eggs get burned. You gotta, gotta watch out. By the way, I have not done a at-home vlog in a long time, uh, mainly because it's so chaotic in here. And I know a lot of you just, you know, you, you don't really care. You just want to see fishing or hunting or, or whatever it is. But I know some of you do. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more stuff at home. I feel like we used to film a lot more at home and it was simpler times. Having two kids now, it's like having two fish on the line at the same time, you got two rods and you're like trying to battle them both at the same time. So it is, uh, it's a mission. It's a mission that we, we take on every day and Steph is the commanding officer of I that mission. I feel like it's been tag teaming. It's like, hey, I'll take this one, you take that one. A lot of tag switch. teaming this week. And I've watched Emmy more than I ever have. Yeah, because think you She is it. so, she's so high energy. She needs attention all the time. She's gotta be into something. And what we didn't want to happen was you know, focusing on baby Ben all the time and then she gets a little jealous. So I've been spending a lot of time with her. What's your favorite show on TV? Um, baby Tots. Baby Tots. What's your favorite game to play? Hide and Seek. Hide and Seek? Yeah, you love Hide and Seek. What's your favorite food? I put carrots. You carrots? I thought it was going to be strawberries. Strawberries. Yeah, or mac and cheese. And do you like baby Ben? And that is what we call a zone out right there. Mid-morning zone out. Love it. I actually love to see that. Oh, there she goes. She popped back up. And uh, chickens are back in the front yard. They're probably about to get in the garden. So I'm going to go out here and distract them with some food. Come on now. Like a herd of raptors just coming in. All right, you know what to do. You want to open the door? Head on in. Strawberry tops are one of their favorites. You just leave the whole leaves and everything on there and they'll actually clean everything up. Uh, let's see if we got anybody in here. We got two eggs already this morning. Girls are doing good work. Now this one right here is carrot. She's a gold laced wine dot and she's typically the last to go in. She just will not be captured. And wine dots are a little different in that they don't have to be around the other chickens. They're sort of loners. So she can just be off by herself and be fine. Whereas the other chickens, they like to stay in the flock. They like to know where everyone is. She don't care. She is like the social outlier the loner, the lone wolf, if you will. Silver bullet's gnarly right now too. Absolutely gnarly. I've actually been fishing one time since baby Ben was born. It was uh, just a few days ago to go do some product testing. Went to one of our favorite places. It's full of grass, got a dusty road and testing we did, my goodness. Let's see if I got any wounded soldiers in the boat. I do. All you fishing freaks out there probably already know um, what we got going on and coming out, but uh, this bait right here, this is the Nuke Punch. This is a flipping style bait, also a fantastic jig trailer. You know, it's like a bandito bug, but more rounded out, uh, tougher plastic. Uh, it's great for flipping, you know, using a straight shank flipping style hook. This is another one I'm really excited about. We literally, every time that we've tested these, we've gone through all of the samples, just catching tons of fish. But uh, this is gonna be the blazing worm. And all of these colors right here were different consistencies in plastic. And we've gone through about three or four different trials of um, consistencies and then tail designs uh, and everything like that. And we finally have, have come to a conclusion on uh, the consistency and the tail and everything like that and, and are happy with it. And then we also got some other terminal stuff that we were testing that is uh, turned out pretty good. So uh, we got a lot of stuff coming down the pike. 
it's about time to go fishing again, y'all. So I've got a tournament this uh, this coming weekend, uh, another team tournament. If you guys uh, missed it, I did a team tournament uh, with a few other guys in the in the Guggen squad. And uh, we filmed that whole series. We filmed the practice, we filmed the tournament, <laughs> and all that. So down to the dirty deets. So you can go watch that on uh, the Guggen Squad channel. We're going to be doing the same thing on uh, the tournament this weekend. And then we've got one more in November. So it's a three tournament series, and you know we're, we're covering it all from practice to the scales. So I'm excited to get back in the game, y'all. I spend uh, I've spent a lot of time in my tackle cave, looking at tackle thinking about fishing uh, finally got to put my hands on some fish play around with some lures as long as I'm around fishing stuff in general I'm happy I don't always have to be out on the water but I just, I just got to be in there just got to be in the mix you know at least talking about tackle talking about the dangle with somebody some of you so enough about me let's go inside and check on the baby boy Is someone hiding from me? It's her favorite game to play. She likes to hide and she likes to trick. Are you a trickster? <laughs> she loves to trick me. There she is! <laughs> <laughs> How was life different from four years ago? When it was nice you, me, and Winston? Peaceful, peaceful days. And now they're just full of... You remember just like... A Saturday weekend, we're like, what do we want to do? You want to go run like five go? miles yeah. or and then go to the lake? Come back and have a second breakfast and then yeah. take a nap. And then from there, we'll just a go nap? to the lake. Yeah, naps don't exist. No. It's just not yeah. something in in parenthood world that happens. <laughs> they barely exist in Emmy's world. Yeah. Yeah, you don't take naps anymore either. <sighs> No, Do you? Unfortunately. Not. This is about as fussy as Ben gets right here. Yeah. This is about, you know, an eight on the fuss level for him. Just little grunts. Some grunts and grumbles. But the main challenge that I was telling them is like just containing her <laughs> with him. That's why it's a tag team. I take baby Ben, you take Emmy. I was going to leave this weekend and I decided it might be a little premature to go down to the deer lease. I need to need to be here to to uh, wrangle this one up a little bit. <laughs> Just like roughhousing. But I think you can handle it. I think so. This one's so easy. I mean, he, he goes down for a nap for two hours. Every two hours he wakes up, needs to change, feeding, goes back down. That's basically Ben's life right now. I can handle that. <laughs> two Emmys! <laughs> two Emmys! Uh -huh. I don't know if I can handle two Emmys. <laughs> Just hey, Robbie! Hi, Cal. You go hide, Daddy. Is it time for hide and seek? Uh -huh. Hide and seek. <sighs> well, I can't go hide if you're hanging on me. If you're hanging yeah, on my neck. Yeah, I do it. Now do it. And I can find Okay. All right. You count to ten. Close your eyes. Stay right there. <sighs> so, so this is my Saturdays now. I'm coming here. I'm going to hide. Bathroom curtain. Oh, you were gonna do it? Uh huh. Well, you found me. Emotions. Um, girls versus boys. Different level. Different level of emotions. You feel better now? Uh huh. You gotta cry it out? Uh huh. Okay, we'll try again. We're gonna go hide. Then I gotta show you guys something. I got a, I got a, I got a new deer I need to show you guys. It's actually right above me, right here. <gasps> he found me! <laughs> Usually go in here when I really need.
and get away, and I can eat. There's food, there's snacks in here. Ah! Oh no! She wanted me to open it. Think about it. Mama found me. And baby this... Ben's smiling. <laughs> Look at him smile. Are you just happy to be here with the fam? <laughs> smiling, little bud. You in a happy mood? Mm-hmm. You in a happy mood? I would are be too. Are you in a happy mood? There you are. You are so cute, baby Ben. Say, hug me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. You were tall. You were so tall. Uh-huh. Are you the tallest in your class? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're going to be that, like, awkward tall girl in high school. Mm-hmm. That, you know, none of the boys want to date because you're so tall. And then, and then later in life, when you're, like, 40... And you can start dating around. Not looking forward to that. But she, she is in the 90th percentile of height. I think she's going to be... She's definitely going to be taller than Steph. She might be taller than me. I am just under six foot. So. Honey, honey. Hold you? Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So when I am not... Uh, when I'm not in the woods and not on the water, this this is what I'm doing. Right here. Baby mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And big girl Amy. And it has been good um, to basically have, you know, a week and a half just here at the house bonding. What? You want a what? On my chair. On your chair? Uh -huh. Okay. Anyway, it's been good to spend, you know, over a week here with you guys. Just kind of bonding. We've loved having you. I think this is the most we've had you home in probably yes. the last two years. I am definitely more sympathetic to you now. <laughs> Dealing with the, the daily emotions of, of Emmy, but honestly, he's been a little angel. He really has. He's just going around, going along with the flow. He's like, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just here. It was funny before he was born. I was, I was, I had the in, intuition that he was going to be calmer. And be like the yang to the yin. And it seems to be that way so far. So if we would have had another Emmy out of the gate, I would have I would have been like stressed out. But honestly, like if he would have been our first, I would have been like, let's have four or five. <laughs> and after Emmy, we were like, I don't know. Maybe let's try one more and see what happens. I finally got Unibrow back. A unibrow was the deer that uh, I ended up getting last year. I was trying to hunt a different deer called the pond deer. He was always hanging around the pond. And I ended up uh, just finding this deer like once or twice on camera. I had footage of him just, just a few times like coming through the frame, never really had any good trail cam pics of him. Um, but he just randomly showed up. He was all spawned out, you know, he, he was uh, worn out from the rut. But he uh, he came out just for, just for a minute, right at the end of the day, and uh, I ended up getting the old 308 on him. And man, just a cool deer. Um, tried to put him on this big old crack right here to cover it up. He's almost so pretty you don't even see the crack anymore. But just a really unique deer. He's he's right at 140 inches low fence. Central Texas deer, you know, uh, hill country deer, not known for being giants but he's just really cool so he's on the wall of whitetails got old herschel over here with the drop time got an oklahoma deer that uh, actually he he dropped he he experienced a full drop down the stairs he still looks okay and uh this guy's just super cool look how his brow time almost connects fully to his other brow time who could that be it's Emmy! Oh my goodness, Emmy girl. Okay, can you tell me which deer is your favorite? Um, a brown one. The brown one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder which one that is. I'm just a dog. Just a dog? She's either a, uh, a dog or a bird. Um, just kind of depends on the day. Your dog right now? Okay. Little walkabout. We got the setup here. 
been a while since I've had to do this. All of a sudden, when I put Baby Ben in there, she's like, that's my stroller. Oh, she wants to get in it? She wanted to get in jealous. it. So she got in the front, and she was hanging onto the bar. So I was pushing 60-plus pounds. Whew. You're looking good. I'm sweaty. Looking good. Thank from, you. You know, just having popped a, a, popped a baby out like 10 days ago. <laughs> she's been asking to go camping. I think we're all ready for it. We're all ready. Now. Do you think we can go do it right now? Like, I think everyone wants to see some family camping videos. I think we could probably do it, especially with the camper. The only thing is with him. That's why up, we got that camper. I know, so you could have these accoutrements. Every two hours, it'd just be, you know, I have to be up every two hours anyways in the middle of the night. So it's really up to you and Emmy. What do you think about just coming to deer camp for a little while? I go hunt and then you take care of the kids. <laughs> Too extreme? Thought I'd try it. Never know until you ask. To cool me off. You need a popsicle to cool you down? Do you think Emmy could um, chill in the deer blind with you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Baby Ben, we could get away with. Mm -hmm. uh, you, Emmy, do you think you could sit still for more than 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. You think so? We, might, we would have to like practice. We'd have to like time her and like practice it. There's no way. She's never stopped moving no. since the day she was born. You'd be a good elk hunter. Always on the move. But speaking of hunting and exercising, I do have an elk hunt lined up, you guys, that I am super excited about. Um, going with my buddy Outlaw and Mullet Man. We've had it planned uh, ever since he was conceived, really. So I am going to go elk hunting, and I, I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to get to go whitetail hunting. Uh, I've definitely got the bug for it right now. And I mean, she can tell you, I, I talk about it every day and I have been, uh, have been training every day. That is a nice thing about being home is I've gotten into a routine where I'm just, uh, I'm training every day. I just like to work out just enough to stay dangerous in the woods. That's, a, that's about where I'm at. Uh, you know, middle-aged dad bod, former athlete and uh, just enough to stay dangerous in the woods. That's what it's all about for me. I've got a bunch of different packs, but this one right here, I just keep uh, stuff in it, including a weighted blanket, which is uh, I think like a 20 pound weighted blanket and then other stuff in there. So this pack is probably 25 to 30 pounds. It's about what you would do on a you know regular four or five day mountain hunt or elk hunt. And I'll just walk with the kettlebell. I'll go, you know, a mile or so and do these different alternating exercises, including the lunges. I'll carry it on each arm for two minutes, tricep press. I'll stop, I'll do push-ups with the pack. The other thing I'll do for chest and ab exercises, I'll use my rings. I got rings set up here. Super cheap, super cheap setup. I've got the bike over here. I'll ride the hills with it. If I feel like getting a lot of exercise, I'll just turn the battery portion off. So it's nothing extreme, but I just found like doing something every day, I just feel really good. You know, keeps me ready, keeps me edgy. And when it's really hot during the day, I can uh, actually shoot my bow under here for shorter ranges and it's really comfortable. And the thing that I've tried to get better at this year is judging distances on my own. You know, what I realized after a couple of seasons elk hunting is the ability to know yardages quickly and not have to really range that much. I mean, if you're gonna make a long shot and you've got a lot of cover, you've got the opportunity, obviously you make sure you've got your range dialed. But I, what I'm trying to do is get really comfortable where I just know that deer is or right about 35 yards or you know that that deer is uh, 30 yards I don't even need I don't even need to range I've got it got a couple of seconds you know uh, where I just I feel confident in taking the shot without even picking up my range finder Ooh, that is a dead deer <laughs> so one of the things I've been practicing is just going to the side here and going Mah, Mah, and when I, and when I stop I settle in for a couple of seconds and take the shot so meh, meh. and then I take the shot because last year I was just moving and then that momentum kind of carried my arrow forward I was freaking out so 
just been moving and then stop, settle in, anchor in. And, oh, I'm getting one this year, babe. Yes, you are. I'm getting one this year. That is an unlucky bucky right there. Two lungs and a heart. This back porch could be a country song right now. Back porch, mama and the two kids sitting next to the bass boat and the grill with the fan on on a hot summer night. I just made that up. If anybody wants to license it from me, hit me up. So this is our life now. Mm -hmm. My, how it has uh, evolved since the beginnings of, of the YouTubes. And uh, one of these days, these little tots are gonna be uh, both out there in the woods and on the boat with me. Uh, Amy is just starting to get in to fishing. Um, she's just patient enough to go do it. I only take her when she asks to go. I don't, I don't like force her to go any, or anything, you know, I'm not trying to make the next childhood fishing YouTuber. I'm just very blessed y'all to get to work for an outdoor company, still make these videos for you guys, and just have a great, happy, healthy family here. So thank you for all your support, and um, we'll have some more videos coming soon. I'm going to leave the nest. Right, Mom? I'm going to leave the nest, I'm leave you with the bird, the little baby birds. Dad's going to go gather some food. Go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the, the home vlogs, maybe I'll do some more for you. And uh, haven't done them in a while because it's been so crazy around here, but figured I would just document a little bit of what's going on. So we'll be back at you soon, y'all. Godspeed and God bless you in the great outdoors. See ya.